Hello, Anime Reflux 009-1 is the name of the show and not me activating a self-destruct code for something. You could just call it 0091. Oh, that's way easier. You're right. <laughs> that is three holes shorter. <laughs> Sorry. Make yeah, life 0091, easier on yourself. <laughs> 0091 because they're trying to rip off 007 um, with the whole spy tactics and everything. Hmm. Yeah, espionage. Yeah, so I don't have many notes for this episode, for the show, because I'm not going to lie. Like, after the opening happened, I was just like, you know, this is just fun, pulpy espionage shit, so I'm kind of just down for just letting this kind of wash over me and just let it happen, and it was pretty good. So I was in the exact same position. So, like, specifics, I don't really care about. There's an east block, there's a west block. Um, one's trying to get some nuclear weapons from a doctor. The other's trying to stop them because there's a long period of peace. And there's just, hey... Stop war from happening. Yeah, pretty much. And the main character is a robot. Well, a cyborg. Presumably. Well, yeah, they all are. <laughs> yeah. And that's... fun. Yeah, it's a... It's a somewhat sci-fi, I guess. Um, espionage thriller spy thing yeah i mean do we we lost slice there for a second for some reason his connection just probably died for a bit oh uh, yeah um yeah do we want to do a full summary for this because i'm you don't gonna, remember it, do you? i don't remember any of the names except there was a nine one which was the main one and then there was the names were all no most of the names were numbers yeah. Everyone that was the number died. I'm a fan so. of 9 7. Yeah, the accent is. I went to go and try to look at the sub, and I went to try to go look at the sub, but then I found the dub that had subtitles on it, and I don't know why. The sub was. Yeah, there's no there's no dub, in, at least not in Gogo anime. Yeah, there's, there was no like Japanese dub that I could find. I just found an English dub with. English subtitles on it. It didn't even Which match the word. It makes me sad inside because I picked sub, and when I realized that 0097 was the, had the English accent, I wanted to, I wanted to see what that sounded like in Japanese. I wanted that, to laugh. That, but, <laughs> that was problematic. My first, yeah. My first thought, my first thought was Casey probably should have brick when that happened for one reason or another. So I wanted to hear your thoughts. That was not the best. <laughs> English accent I have ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was so good. <laughs> I was like, this is awful. This is awesome. <laughs> That's why 97 was my favorite. <laughs> I mean, she was pretty good, but that accent, though, no. Really sells it for me. Mm mm. Mm mm. I was having mic issues there for a second. Uh, did we miss the part where. Uh, the guy was talking in the beginning. No. We pretty oh, much haven't okay. done a synopsis at all because Because Casey and Zero don't remember the actual plot. Oh. Okay. I remember vagaries, but I, I remember the basic premise and then they went and the turned you could, out. You couldn't go punch for punch, scene for scene. I couldn't go for punch for punch scene for scene because I don't really care that much. Oh. I remember the very first shot was the parade and there's the trumpeters and then there's the uh military drummers with the snares that was not how you drum that was more like a whisking motion that's not how that works it wasn't even in time to the music <laughs> so uh, it's an incredibly minor detail to pick at but as a drummer i kind of had to pick at that no it's fair yeah it bothered me <laughs> a little bit more than it probably should have um yeah but it's parades, and then uh, main cyborg 91 is having sexy times with a dude, and it turns out both of them are spies, and he tries to shoot her, and she presumably shoots him back, 
or something. It's a really confusing scene. Also, uh, who saw the dub, by the way? Everyone. Everyone. There was no, okay, everyone. There was no way to look at the sub. So that we I could couldn't. I, I was here for half of that conversation. But anyway, uh, does anyone else feel like the guy was making, like, when people imitate Christian Bale's Batman, like, that's the voice he was making? It's released hmm. in 2006. Yeah, it's a little, uh, well, it's around the same, it was probably recorded before <laughs> that came out, presumably. He just, it's like I the, don't know. the like, fakest this... deep growl in his voice, it's hilarious. Mm. No, the sub came out first, or the actual Japanese version came out first, so who knows how many, how long it was predating the dub, yeah. so who knows. So, 9-1 goes to a church... Uh, because the priest there is her contact and they use code words and such. Um, and she gets a new mission, which is to find secret weapon plans from this scientist dude. So she works as a prostitute um, to get information from a woman. And they have a really weird moment where I think it was 9-7 asks how the sex was with a woman. That was kind of weird. Nine um, one said it was awesome. It, like I say, it's sixties pulp. Like this is, yeah, pretty much exactly right, right <laughs> down to the it's, goddamn outfits they wore in the snow. It was like this is seventies yeah. spy shit in Japan. Sixties pulp done by Japan. Like this could be a No One Lives Forever sequel, and I wouldn't have noticed the difference. <laughs> oh, I miss that game. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so. Uh, she gets the mission, she gets the information, and she and three of her buddies, one of them with a terrible English accent, try and break in the base, but they saw them coming and set a trap, and uh, the scientist is actually a dummy with explosives and a monkey, and it turns out the scientist actually hid the data for his secret weapon, because he didn't want to give the secret weapon away. Um, he hid the data for it on the monkey, because he likes the monkey. And that's pretty nice. much what happened. It's just synopsis. Scene and one, scene, other, and one, one of the, one, one of the sni- cyborg girls can like upload what she sees into other stuff through a jack in her neck. And one of the other cyborg girls probably has like weapons like in her body because she shot like a rocket out of her knee. I think they all do. I think that's the implication of what happened in that first scene with the like, like the bronze kneecap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've never, I never thought I'd hear that reference anytime <laughs> soon. I have no idea what that is, but I'm going to go with it. Yeah, sure, whatever that is. Sure. The arch enemy of the crimson shin. He doesn't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved this. <laughs> I mean, it didn't really spend a lot of time establishing a lot of things. The Eastern Bloc is a thing, the white Western Bloc is a thing, and they're in a Cold War. That's pretty much all you get, and it's been going on for a while. And there's some dudes that want to end it and fight an actual war, and most people are kind of against that, and that's pretty much all you get. It doesn't waste any time with exposition details that the show doesn't really feel particularly important. It's more just spy shenanigans. It's like, I, feel, I have a feel that it's going to be like a, a plot of the week kind of show. Hmm. I, okay. I don't know what that's from. I don't know what that is, Ken. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Kneecap. Yeah, okay. I mean, I you don't do a link dump for this show, so hopefully people in the comments will just get this. this was... he all his bronze trophies down to form his bronze kneecaps. This was strictly for Zero's enjoyment. That's the only reason I linked that. It makes me so happy. I okay. am very amused by it as well. Oh, good. So, yeah, it was... I don't... There's not a lot of depth in this show, really. It's just... Spies doing spy shit, and I have a feeling there's no overarching plot to this show. At least not one that will show at all in the 16 episodes that exist. 
Just try to stop war, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah. Considering how the episodes ended, I imagine she's going to try to defect or retire at some point. Probably. I guess retire would be a more accurate term. Defect would... Yeah, anyway. So there might be drama there. Uh, and it might lead into the older series where there's nine cyborgs who are all kind of on the run. Hmm. So who knows? Are those connected? And they might be. They certainly have the same art style, that's for sure. I mean, they've... If they're both named zero zero nine something, probably that connected. Probably. Well, I mean, the main character is one of the nine cyborgs, so I am assuming they're connected. Mm. Then again, the guy from the beginning of the episode was also one of the cyborgs, so I'm a little confused of how that works. Maybe they're just reusing the models. Yeah, I think it's that because one of the guys in the street that she passes earlier in the episode is also one of the cyborgs. So maybe the spy stuff just goes deeper than you think. Hmm. There's a certain way to execute show, don't tell, and I'm not sure that this show quite pulled it off. It was a bit Bland, if you will. Mm, yeah. Bad, but... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that was kind of the intent. Like, they don't care about the background stuff, so they try and make sure that you know they don't care about the background stuff, so you won't care either. Um, For me, they pulled it off, but uh, mileage may vary, I suppose. I mean, it wasn't bad by any stretch. It was, it was all right. Just not, not exceptional. I'd say. Anything else to say before we close this out? This was a short episode, but you know, was, like, was... I mean, it was twenty minutes, but it was just so little happening. It was twelve actually, but yeah. Well, the problem is there was a lot of action, and there's not a lot of character interaction. I'm sorry, so, did we watch the same show? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I mean, this recording was, oh, there wasn't much to it, is what I was saying. Oh, uh, okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought you were saying, uh, no, my mistake. Okay, uh, the list is loading, so go it's ahead me. and roll, Kent. Pardon? I am ready. Okay. I now have a Google search for goo because I mistyped. Whoops. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's do this. Random number generator. Give me something good this week. All right. Please do. Something good would be nice. Or something really bad that I can laugh at. One or the other. I don't care which. Mm -hmm. um, hold on. It's not loading. <laughs> Same here. Okay. Let's just ready. Damn it. You're messing with me here. All right, all right, all right. I got it. All right, got it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, eight. Eight. That's uh, H. H. Hajimeno Ipo. Triple H. 98. He has an anime? <laughs> I don't know. He has a cartoon. <laughs> 98, sorry, if I spoke over that, by the way. Yeah, I, I got it. All right. So out of 98, we get, oh my God, 72. 72. We just missed all of the high school animes. Wow. <laughs> high school girls, high school of the dead, high school DD, high school star musical. Oh. No. The one that we landed on is High Score. I like that he dropped me from saying X before I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's High Score. Okay, okay that's, a, a that's an guess image. Say that it has something to do with video games or I'm sport. looking at the image, and that's an image. 
Oh dear. That's Oh not good. boy, what's the high score at? It might be a different type of scoring that they're talking about based on the image. Yeah. I think the username at the top of the scoreboard is you know what? I'm going to stop that joke. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't even like, have a joke. You had like, was going to go He's over. going for ASS, I'm thinking. A school comedy with violent and blue jokes. Fujiwara Megumi is a beautiful high school girl but has a selfish and violent character. She has a boyfriend named Matsumoto Masamune, but she often goes around with other boys who end up as victims due to her selfish behavior. You know, aside from the discomfort at the image and the plot summary, this really sounds bland. Yeah, good thing, because it's three minutes. We can't watch oh, good. It. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, <laughs> All right. I was kind of ambivalent about seeing the trash human be a trash human for 20 minutes, but if it's only three, then fucking we don't care. All right. Uh, so another H, then? Yeah. Yep. All right. Don't screw me over this time, Ram Jr. You let me down. All right. Oh, Jimmy. So this time, 28. 28. All right, let's take a look here. <laughs> I'm Taro movie, I suppose we could watch. I would You're... still be down for that. I'll Ham bet you would. Hamtaro was 21, actually. Oh, God. Uh, this one is a Hanau Kyo made team. Yep. Oh, dear. Yep. Mado's all over the place. After losing his mother, 12-year-old Taro journeys to Tokyo to live with his grandfather, but he gets the biggest surprise when he discovers that his grandfather's home is a huge mansion with hundreds of beautiful maids ready to oh, serve I've heard him. of this show before. Making matters worse, uh, at least for Taro, but not for our view. Oh, very cute. Uh, is that not only does he inherit the Hanokyo mansion, he gets the service of all of the maids 24 hours oh, a seven days a week. Yeah. I'll bet he does. Wait, how do you take a day off? You don't get days off like that. What kind of horrible existence is that? That's terrible. Just keep going. I'm seeing the Hiram tag. I'm seeing the HG tag. Can we do a group veto, please? Because I know that Kenshi isn't going to waste his veto on this. Yeah, I'm not always against this kind of thing, but this just seems like the worst kind of trash. I uh, whatever, I don't care. I really don't care. I'll give my veto too. I I know this show. <laughs> yeah. Also okay he's twelve. That. Pointing that out. A slicer. Uh I think I might have the wrong anime here. Uh is the one we're talking about high score or no, different? No. One. no, no, no. Hi high... oh. We have to re roll because that one's only three minutes. This is the one we do. Gotcha. Or would not so far so 12 year old kid and he inherits a mansion that's filled with maids that will service him 24 hours a day is this the one that Mal linked a while back I don't know mm. I don't know yeah sure why not All right. it's probably pretty, it from the pretty terrible 24 7 365 forever can't she? I don't know, I'm doing it. <laughs> 24 7, 369. Oh, really? Zero? Alright. So, from the very tippity top, it's five. Five. E. E. Hmm. This is one that we've hit quite a bit. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five already hits, leaving 16. I shield 21. Actually, no, that's shit as an anime. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, hold on a second. That's that one isn't on here. Really? Must be under its must be under its Japanese name. Oh. What is its Japanese name? I Shield Twenty One, as far as I'm aware, it's about American football. Well, Japanese American football, but still. It's in here. It's in here at the bottom of the list in GoGo -Go Anime. Don't know why it wouldn't be on here. Must have deleted it back. Oh, wait, what? I'll, I'll Google. It's E Y E, right? Yep. Yes. 
Uh, oh, here it is. Hepburn Ashi Aishirudo with an A I as um, a, yeah A I. So that's probably where it is. Okay. Or Hepburn, just, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. All right. And uh, what did you say, Kenji? Uh, I said I didn't say anything. Um, was it was waiting. sixteen. Was the full total? Yeah. Yeah. So I was just waiting to remember throw seventeen in there because apparently Ice Shield wasn't a uh, patience thing. Ah, right, of so, course. So I was wondering if you wanted me to go to seventeen to the sixteen. Uh, uh why not? Yeah, I'd, I'd say go with that. Ice Shield twenty one's the fucking name. So. All right. So, out of seventeen possible choices, we get. Sorry, Casey. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, please not Evangelion. Please not Evangelion. Please not Evangelion. There's no way. Hold on a moment, please. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Please, 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 hmm. please, 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 please. Etotama. What's it called? Etotama. E T O T A M A. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Uh, I can read the summary for this one. <clears throat> the anime story revolves around Nyaten, the cat of Chinese astrology who wants to become a member of the Chinese zodiac. Nyaten is simple and suffers from memory loss, and she tries various foolish ways to become a member. She meets Takaru Tendo, a high school student who lives alone in Akihabara, and becomes a freeloader at his house. Little by little, she gets closer to her goal. Okay. Is this full length? I don't... That feels like something that would be like a five minute long snippet show. Like I just checked. It is, in fact, full length. Wow. Okay. Um, Nyatan, the cat of Chinese astrology. It apparently has the worst voice ever. But... <laughs> well, I have Good. to watch that. Right. Well, there, there it is. It's solidified now. Hmm. Yay. Woo. I... Wasn't this so much better than that harem thing that we passed up? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'd agree with him on this one, yeah. I'm just glad that we didn't get one number lower, because that would have been Arrow and say. I mean, the number was 12. <laughs> 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 You tried that trick before, Kenji. It didn't work last time. It's not working this time. I was hoping that putting more time into the actual draw of me saying it would have made it work. Well, it, it made it funnier. I have to, I have to recheck my strategy. Hmm. All right. So, that thing. But in, seri in seriousness, E is going fast. One more selection, and we'll have wiped out a third of it. Hmm. All right. So, Eto Tama is what we're doing. Also, sorry, Mal, if you really wanted us to review the thing. No, we, we, we've got better things to do, frankly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Eto Tama is the thing we're doing next week. Which Thanks for those things. doesn't have a translation. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have a translation. It's not subtitled? Or it's just the name's not translated? The name doesn't seem to have a translation. Sorry. Oh, no. It could be one of those mystery things that no one knows what it means. Huh. It's provocative. It gets the people, gets the going. people going. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't only know that reference because of the fucking uh, Jay Z and Kanye song, and not the actual film. That's 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 sad. The, the not film really, a... considering what the <laughs> film was. But yeah. Anyway, so Etotama is the thing we're watching next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Take care. Oh, I just realized. The next episode is going to have a rabbit. Ah.